Let's talk a little bit about the best budget telephoto lenses. If you are a sports photographer or if you are a wildlife photographer, you would like to get some great grass with affordable money. So let's talk a little bit about it. Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and this is part 3 from the uh, video series about the best budget lenses and uh, first we have talked about the uh, best budget wide-angle lenses then we have talked about the best budget portrait lenses and this is the part 3 the best budget telephoto lenses now if you are a sports photographer or a wildlife photographer obviously you would like to get a great lens for affordable money if you are a um, uh, rich photographer let's say then obviously you will don't mind to buy a, a 12,000 euro lens or a six seven thousand euro lens or eight thousand euro lens but if you are that kind of photographer probably you are not watching this video because you are not interested in it so uh, this video is uh, meant to help those photographers who want to start their career and they don't really have a lot of money to buy a six, seven, eight thousand euro lens, and they will, uh, they would like to get decent results with affordable amount of money. So, guys, don't worry. You don't have to sell your arms or your kidney to pay these lenses. You know, this <laughs> it's not the case. But let's talk a little bit about this topic. Now, uh, if you are on an APS-C camera. And many photographers, many uh, sport and wildlife photographers, they like APS-C size cameras because of the pixel density. The pixel density on a sensor is much bigger on an APS-C like on a full frame. And I tell you why. Because an uh, uh, APS-C size camera, which is 24 megapixel, uh, the, the 24 million pixels are jammed in this big area. And on full frame, a 24 megapixel full frame, the, pic the 24 million pixels are jammed in an area which is three times bigger than the APS-C. So that's why the pixel density is much higher on APS-C. And that's why the images will look a bit, bit sharper and much more detailed in the image than on a full frame. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want to hammer the full frame sensors. No, not at all. I mean, full frames are very, very good. And I think that they have their place as well. But like for sports and for wildlife, you will see a lot of wildlife photographers, even if they have a lot of money and they are successful photographers, and you will see they have a six, seven, eight thousand euro lens attached to an 800 uh, euro body. And you're asking like, why they are doing it? I mean, do they don't have money to buy a three, four thousand euro camera? They do have, but they don't need that. They need the APS-C, they need the extra reach that the, the APS-C size sensor gives and they need the pixel density. So if you are a, a sports photographer or wildlife, most likely you will be on APS-C. So if you want a closer range, I would say the best idea is to go on the Tamron 7200 f2.8 USD. Now these, uh, this lens is the newest version, the newer version of the 7200 f2.8 from Tamron. The old one had some macro capabilities, you know, like uh, close-up capabilities were better, but you don't want to go on that. No, that is a bit cheaper, but I would suggest to go on the 7200 f2.8 USD ultrasonic drive version. And that lens is uh, 955 euro, 955 euro uh, on eGlobal Central. Now, if you, uh, if you go over here, you will see that eGlobal Central, uh, I'm talking about this shop several times, you know, and um, this is a shop in Hong Kong and uh, they, uh, they send from England actually because they have a warehouse in England, you know, so you don't pay any VAT or duty or anything like that. But if you are on other countries, you know, not in Europe, you can, you can find on eBay or you can find on Amazon roughly the same price, you know, maybe a little bit expensive, but it's not, the difference is not big at all. So, Tamron 70 to 200 on an APS-C, it will act like a 100 to 300 millimeter f2.8 lens. And that is not bad. That's okay. But if you are a bird shooter, if you are a sports photographer, 300 millimeter is... Mm, kind of you know i don't know i would like a little bit more 
but if you want a little bit more, then uh, unfortunately you will have to give a little bit more money if you want professional results. Now, the next lens is the Sigma 150-600mm to 600 millimeter. and this lens is for full-frame cameras, it's designed for full-frame cameras. So, under APS-C it will act like a 225-900mm. to 900 millimeter. This sounds very good, but there is a drawback. <laughs> there is a there is something you know that you always it, sometimes you know it's like it's too nice to be true so this is this is the same you know you have to trade in something for this and that is the the lens is not fast at all i mean it's uh, it's f5 to 6.3 now this is a very good lens it's a good lens it's very very big range you know if you want to buy a lens with uh, with this range you know you will have to pay like eight nine thousand euro uh, maybe a bit less or maybe more but uh, a lot of thousands of euros you have to pay now this lens is 830 euro it's good but it's 5 to 6.3 so that means you must have good lighting conditions to uh, lighting i mean bright daylight you know something like that this is not really advisable to use in uh, indoor sports you know things like that if you are good light outside, this lens is excellent, you know, and I, I've, I've seen several, uh, I didn't put my hand on this lens, so I have to say that, but I've seen several, uh, several uh, reviews on this lens and they all say that it's excellent, you know, and uh, image quality is very good. I've seen a lot of uh, uh, images from this lens, you know, and it was actually very good. But as I said, you have to trade in, you know, something. So this is f5 to 6.3. Now this lens uh, has also a version. This is a contemporary version I'm talking about. And the same lens is 100 to 600, 150 to 600 millimeter. Uh, also, uh, you can buy in uh, Sigma Sports version. And that is like two, 300 euro extra. So it will be like a thousand and fifty euro, something like that. Uh, and what's the difference? The difference is not in the in the glass. The difference is that that lens is much more weather sealed, you know, and it's much more rugged construction. So it's it's a little bit better built than the contemporary version. So if you want, uh, you can buy the sports version, or if not, you can buy the contemporary version. Now, Tamron has again um, the same focal length. Tamron has the SP 150-600 mm f5 to 6.3 DIVC USD lens. And that lens is 805 euros, so it's actually a bit cheaper than the, the contemporary, the Sigma contemporary. But again, I would say it doesn't matter which one you buy. The image quality wise, I would say the Sigma is a little bit better, but not the difference is not big. So I would say uh, either you want to buy, you know, you can you will be okay with it if you have good lighting conditions. Now, if you want to go to indoor sports and you want extra reach now i have a good solution for you but unfortunately you will have to put your hand a little bit deeper in your pocket that means it will be a little bit expensive and that is the pro grade lens from sigma which is the sigma 120 300 millimeter dgos hsm and f 2.8 now that is an a lens 120 300 millimeter f 2.8 this is made also for full frame so it will act like a 180 to 450 millimeter on a crop camera now we are talking so this lens is the pro i would say the pro telephoto lens what you can use the best pro telephoto lens what you can use for your money i mean the best bank for your money not the best lens the best lens would be a, a prime lens you know which is a four six hundred millimeter prime lens but this is the best bank for your buck so this is this lens costs 2540 euro on the e-global central that means if you want to buy an ebay probably a bit expensive it will be close to 3000 euro but it's a it's an f 2.8 lens and you have from 180 to 450 that's a big range f2.8 constant aperture 
I mean, I don't think and I don't believe you can buy a lens for this money with these characteristics. No, you can't. This is the best bank for your buck. This is the best possibility, image quality wise, build quality wise, everything, uh, uh, how the lens pen forms, you know, uh, this is the best bank for your buck. And I would say, I would suggest if you are a sports photographer or a wildlife photographer, I would suggest to save up your money and buy this one because you won't regret that. Now, if you are only outside and you shoot only outside, you know, and you have always good lights, lighting conditions, I mean, you can buy the, the other ones, the cheaper ones as well. That's not an issue. I mean, the contemporary or the Tamron, you know, or the sports lens has until 600 millimeter. I mean, that's until 900 millimeter, you know, and on a crop. Uh, that's obviously double the reach, you know, like, like with this f2.8. But I would say the 450 millimeter, you will, you will be okay most of the time with that lens, you know, and, and that is an f2.8 lens anyway. So it's up to you guys. You have to decide what situation you are shooting, what do you need the lens for, you know. If you need for indoor sports, definitely this one. If you are outdoors and you are shooting only outdoors, the other one is good as well. So I just wanted to give you some tips, some ideas how you can find, where you can find good telephoto lenses, good quality telephoto lenses for affordable price. So, like I said in my other videos, you can check these lenses on the DxOMark website or on, uh, on other review sites, you know, and you will see that the result of the lenses, they are excellent. So, it's not, um, it's not that I only talk about them, you know, I will, I will talk because I know that these lenses are very good and uh, they are, they are, uh, for the price, for the money you pay for it, they are the best. I can tell you that. So, I hope this video was helpful to you guys and uh, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please don't forget to uh, hit the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to my channel to see more videos coming. And other than that, I wish you a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.